Alright, now I'm going to do the performance uh, section of the EPC um, upgrade uh, revamp, I guess you could say. Um, for those of you who have only been uh, watching the videos on YouTube and whatnot, um, you're missing a lot of the stuff that's on the website. Uh, you should go to it, www.danak.tv. Link is over on the right side in the description. You can check it out there. Um, but this is generally on how to optimize performance on your system. I'm trying to make it a little bit generic uh, on just Windows XP in general, but um, some things might be a little bit more specific uh, towards the um, EPC itself uh, or laptop, so to say. <clears throat> so to uh, begin here, as you notice, I got a nice little desktop background. I'm going to start with that. Uh, so as you know, you can right click on your desktop, go to properties. Um, you may hear a very loud click. This is a laptop microphone built into it, so sorry about that. Um, go to desktop, and then you'll want to change this to none for the background. Uh, what this does is it tells Windows to fill up your entire background with a solid color. Um, this prevents it from going through and reading your background image every time you go through minimize a window, maximize a window, resize a window. Um, Windows basically has to go through and redraw your desktop. If you um, have it set to a single color, it just can instantly go, oh, I just need to paint this blue or whatever color you specified on this side here. So it saves you a little bit of uh, performance when you're um, going through minimizing a lot of windows stuff like that um, the other option here uh, since we're in this section you have that customized desktop button uh, this is something that will help uh, reduce extra things running on startup uh, for you uh, you want to go down here to desktop cleanup and uncheck this run cleanup every 60 days it's just one little extra thing that does not need to run uh, every time your system starts up. Uh, another thing you want to check under here is this web tab. Uh, make sure you don't have any web items showing up on your desktop here. Um, you can set like web pages whatnot to be your desktop background. I don't recommend it. Um, and now desktop icons. Here you can uncheck any icons that you're not going to be using a lot. Um, I will be using my, my computer icon, my documents icon, network places. I'm probably not going to use too much on this system, so I'm going to uncheck that. Um, again, if you ever need these back, you just go in here and check it again. You just hit OK, apply. Uh, another little thing here, screensaver. Um, best screensaver you can have is blank. Have it just blank out your screen. Um, there's no need for any fancy 3D graphics, spinning logos, anything of that sort. Just set it to blank, set to however long you prefer, and OK. Um, if you want to go a little bit extra for performance, you can uncheck the on resume password protect. Because um, every time your screensaver activates, it's going to lock your computer, and it just takes you that much longer to log back in it, all that stuff. Um, under appearance, um, we're going to go ahead and change this to the Windows Classic style because all this nice fancy blue um, shading, I guess you could call it, whatever, this rendered effect, um, it is more CPU intensive. Windows XP is not smart enough um, to know to use your graphics card. Uh, instead of your processor for rendering all these extra graphics. Uh, so if you turn it back to the classic style, it's less processor intensive. Yes, it does look ugly, but guess what? It's better for performance. So you can hit apply there. And as you can see, it's gone to the good old Windows 95 or 98 style, I should say, because it's got the faded bar. Um, now for additional, you have this effects tab. And this is just extra little pretty things that you're probably not even going to notice and slow you down. 
Um, every time you open up a menu, it's going to try and fade it in. Uncheck that. Uh, there's no need for it to fade in if you just want things to run faster. Um, I do like this smoothing of screen fonts. It does make things a little bit easier. So I do like to set it on clear type. Just a personal preference for viewing things. Um, but you can optimize performance even more by unchecking that. Um, I like the large icons. It makes it easier to read. Um, you don't need shadows under your menus. Um, it is nice to see the window contents while you're dragging them. Um, extra performance, uncheck that. Um, I'm a keyboard shortcut user. I like to see my um, option keys, so I uncheck this hide underlined letters. Again, another performance thing, leave that checked actually. Um, I think checking that is enhancement, I'm not sure on that, but I do believe uh, I'm checking that is the better choice. <clears throat> Apply that. And then um, if you want to go another step further and don't care about how things look too much, you can drop this down to 16-bit color under settings. Uh, things will look a bit ugly, but it will run a bit faster, just so you know. Um, and that's that under display. Um, now if you right-click on your My Computer icon, go to Properties, go to Advanced. You have another performance option here. Go to Settings. If you want absolute best performance, you can hit the checkbox. Best performance. And it's going to uncheck everything in here. Uh, you got options such as fading in menus, animate windows, when you maximize, minimize, all that. It's just extra pretty nonsense you don't need. Uncheck it all. Um, a couple I do recommend keeping checked is the common tasks and folders and sometimes the background image. I've noticed some um, folders do have uh, not so much a background image but background options that only show up with that. It's weird. Um, but if you don't care about any of that stuff, uncheck it. Um, and again, I prefer smoothing the edges of screen fonts because it makes things easier to read. You apply that. It'll take a few seconds to update. And now your mouse cursor, you'll probably notice, doesn't have a shadow under it, which is good. Um, now something specific on the EPC. Um, this should be already set if you've used a standard image, but virtual memory, you want to make sure that this is not using a paging file. You have a solid state hard disk in this. If you set it to use a paging file, you will kill your hard drive very quickly. Um, no paging file is going to give you the optimal performance. Um, if you're on a normal desktop system, um, you can go through and specify a custom size. Make sure the size, uh, initial size and maximum size are the same. General rule of thumb, set it to one and a half times the amount of RAM you have in your system. Um, you will eventually have to use your paging file, but with the little bit of stuff you're going to be using on an EPC, there's no reason to have one. Uh, make sure your DEP is on. It's just a security setting. Just check it in there. Hit OK there. You're good there. Um, system Restore. If you do not intend to ever use System Restore, turn it off. That's less reading and writing that you're hard drive is going to do, it's going to warn me about turning it off. Um, you know, when you go through install programs, it's more stuff that's going to create on your hard drive, more space it's going to take up, you're going to lose a little bit of performance having that on. Go ahead and turn it off. Automatic updates, I keep mine on full automatic, just to remind me if I work on so many systems. Um, remote assistance, turn it off if you don't want people to be able to access your computer for remote support. Um, it's just one little thing that's not running in the background. That's it for that. 